Brown would be extremely happy here today. Dick Johnson of Queensland still holds second. Third place, Sydney's Collar Bond and the number nine, Camaro. They go through Dunlop Loop again. And yesterday in practice, of course, uh, Alan Grice, the fastest lap turned by a touring car here, 53.5 seconds. If you can up cork a 53, uh, anything in the 53 second bracket during today's race, it will officially be given the touring car record. Presently still stands to the credit of Bob Morris at 54 seconds even. Down into uh, Winfield Corner again. It's Grice. Johnson, Bond, Commodore, Falcon, Camaro. That's the order with uh, eight laps to run in the second round of the Better Breaks CRC MSCAR Touring Car Series here at Emaru Park. Well, that's the leader, the recar Commodore, going through Honda, winding his way back once more towards Winfield Corner. He's now about eight car lengths, about two seconds, in fact, on uh, Dick Johnson going into the corner and uh, still holding down third spot and driving a comfortable race under the circumstances in the big uh, nine car is Colin Bond. Certainly leaving a lot of rubber out of uh, Winfield Corner. A lot of it left on the racetrack. Alan Rice continues to stretch his lead over uh, Queensland's Dick Johnson as they drop down into the right-hander at uh, Dunlop Loop. Grice hasn't uh, put a foot wrong at all today in this car, nor yesterday in qualifying. If you're wondering what happened to the uh, RX-7 challenge, Jerry Shield sat on the grid when the rest of the field blasted off, and Barry Jones got squeezed out as they took off the grid, and there's his car just sitting trackside, and that's where it's been right from the outset. Big disappointment for those leading lights in the match as the pair of them were sharing second row of the grid and uh, they'd be bitterly disappointed men right now. I think a lot of spectators came out to Amaru Park because there's an enormous crowd here today to see the Mazdas uh, really uh, hold sway over the V8s. Unbelievable to think that uh, the two of them after making the second row of the grid have uh, been able to uh, to drop out even before the completion of one lap. Some compensation for the fans they'd like to see Alan Grice holding pride of place in this second round of the uh, Amscar here. Of course, uh, Alan, local resident, spends a lot of time down here on the track, driving, testing, sorting out, and uh, is uh, one of the most competent men around on any track, but this one in particular. And uh, since he's moved back into V8s and in this recar Commodore, certainly uh, showing that uh, he's certainly got uh, a lot of talent and a lot of racing left in him. As the car comes through this corner, you'll notice the rubber on the racetrack. There it is. And Alan Grice continues his search for the chequered flag for a win in the round two of the CRC Better Breaks Amscar series that uh, has been conducted here at Amaru Park Raceway in Sydney throughout the year. 2.5 seconds between Grice and uh, Johnson and 6.2 seconds between Grice and Bond. Well, clearly Grice is a car that is trouble-free able to stretch that lead uh, by half a second again. There's Clive Benson-Brown going through, Steve Masterton who's back from the States and there of course is Peter Brock we haven't seen a great deal of. Uh, he's been sitting back in uh, fourth place and I think dropping back off uh, yeah. the four, uh, third place Kevin Bartman. Uh, well, dropping back certainly 13 seconds now behind the race leader Alan Grice. Three and a half laps to go. Peter Brock and Nick Johnson being waging a, a tremendous war for the Australian Touring Car Championship. Alan Moffat into the fray with a win at, uh, at Lakeside. And back in uh, winning form comes uh, Alan Grice, so uh, that throws open the, uh, uh, the series. Although uh, Grice uh, has made it uh, fairly clear that he doesn't wish to contest all the, the rounds of the championship, just the major individual important event. Peter Brock, I think, uh, might probably be doing the wise thing and not pushing the car to the point of breaking it when he knows that he is a couple of seconds down and that it does require uh, a lot of work on it. And I think he's just out there driving the best possible race that he can under the circumstances and uh, is content to go away from here, I think, and uh, get it into gear again for the big races to come. Grice is back. Well, the fans have been 
been saying it for the last couple of weeks and uh, he's certainly uh, underlined that today with his great performance. The race is not over yet, but uh, it's getting on that way. Here comes uh, Ron Dixon in uh, number 12 uh, barbecues galore car that has a ding in the side of the door. So he's obviously met a predator sometime during the early laps of this race. Jones isn't here today and Barry Jones isn't in the final rundown of uh, placings in this race and we expected uh, two of the Jones uh, boys, Alan Jones and uh, of course Barry Jones but at the moment even uh, Alan Jones have his hands full no matter what he's driving containing Alan Grice and yeah, Justin Dixon goes there to uh, Honda, there are uh, one and a half laps remaining for the leaders we'll find that the leaders in fact are right behind the uh, Cars, there we are. Here comes Grice. Just... They haven't Johnson. been running 53 second laps of anything up 56 seconds most of the times for Grice, so the race hasn't been run at uh, breakneck pace as far as Grice is concerned. He's doing it easy. Still has a couple of seconds in reserve, and that's a, only as hard as he has to push the car. As we head into the final lap or so of this uh, second round of the Amps Car Series, Alan Grice going through Dunlop Loop. In fact, on his last lap now. One of motorsports uh, popular touring car drivers, Alan Grice. Uh, been there quite a while since Alan uh, logged a, uh, a major win in the uh, touring car division. That's coming up for him now. He comes down with only two corners remaining, down into Winfield, down through the gears. Looking very straight in the car. Superbly. Last corner comes up through Kamalko turn. The finishing straightaway is there, and Alan Grice comes back to win at Amaru Park Raceway in the second round.